There is a relationship between the basic trig functions for positive angle theta and negative angle theta. We'll explore the relationships between trig functions for positive angle theta and negative angle theta using the unit circle. First, we'll look at positive angle theta. Sine theta equals y over 1, which is equal to y. Cos theta equals x over 1, which is equal to x. And tan theta equals y over x. We also know that tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So here is a summary of the values of sine, cosine, and tangent for angle positive theta. Now we'll look at the negative angle theta, or angle negative theta. The sine of negative theta is negative y over 1, which is negative y. The cosine of negative theta is x over 1, which is positive x. And the tangent of negative theta is negative y over x which is negative sine theta over cosine theta. So here is a summary of the values of sine, cosine, and tangent for angle negative theta. Now we'll compare the trig functions of angle positive theta and angle negative theta. The sine of positive theta is positive y, and the sine of negative theta is negative y. So we can state that the sine of negative theta is negative sine theta. The cosine of positive theta is positive x, and the cosine of negative theta is also positive x. So we see that the cosine of negative theta is equal to the cosine of positive theta. Next we'll compare the tangents of positive theta and negative theta. The tangent of positive theta is positive sine theta over cos theta, and the tangent of negative theta is negative sine theta over cos theta. So we can state that the tangent of negative theta is the negative of the tangent of theta. It's important to know these three identities involving negative angles. These can appear in problems that ask you to simplify an expression, prove an identity, or solve an equation. So watch for a negative angle inside of a trig function. For example, if sine negative theta appears, it should be changed to negative sine theta. And if tan negative theta appears, it should be changed to negative tan theta. But if cos negative theta appears, it should be changed simply to cos theta rather than negative cos theta. Let's do an example. We're asked to prove that 1 plus sine negative theta times 1 plus sine theta is equal to cos squared theta. We'll set up a table for the proof. The expression on the left hand side is 1 plus sine negative theta times 1 plus sine theta. And the expression on the right hand side is cos squared theta. We'll rewrite cos squared theta at the bottom of the right hand side and we'll work through the expression on the left hand side. We can use the negative angle identity sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta. This is the same as 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. This can be simplified to a difference of squares 1 minus sine squared theta. Using the Pythagorean identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1, we get 1 minus sine squared theta equals cos squared theta. We see that the right hand side is equivalent to the left hand side. So this proves that 1 plus sine negative theta times 1 plus sine theta equals cos squared theta is an identity.